postponed later this month in Yorkshire. Well, Opera North said the piece couldn't go ahead after a primary school pulled 300 pupils from the project. So let's talk to the writer, Lee Hall, who's here with us in the studio, and the Director General of Opera North, Richard Mantle, is in Leeds. Uh, Richard, let's just ask you first, um, these primary school pupils had already been involved in rehearsals and, and, and very firmly involved with this opera for months. So why was it stopped? They've been actually working with uh, Opera North for two years. The, this opera that we have commissioned from Lee and from Harvey Brough uh, is uh, the culmination of a much longer residency project and the school, which are all, it's primary school, so aged between 5 and 11, have been working on sorts of different projects along with other people around the community and this, uh, the idea of this opera was to bring everybody together for in a sense a rather sort of celebratory uh, experience for them to reflect on the life of uh, Bridlington. Um, in the end it's pulled because the school who do have 300 of the 400 participants um, uh, pulled out on Friday night and, and we had no option, we don't have a project because it's happening in 10 days time. Why, why did the school change their mind about it? Well, I don't think they've ever really changed their mind. I think they, all the way along, they have been, it, it's all hinged, as I'm sure Lee will um, very articulately uh, explain, it's all, in a sense, hinged on um, an issue of sexuality and the portrayal of a gay character. Nobody is seeking to cut this gay character. Um, the school have asked that uh, Lee tempers some of the language um, and we have asked him too, and we've worked with him very closely over many weeks okay. to, to, in a sense, address that point. And uh, you know, I think Lee is quite within his rights to say that I can't go any further than I've done. Okay. All right, let's, let's look at one of the lines then that seems to be a problem, because I don't think it's a problem reading it on the television. Uh, uh, the character says, of course I'm queer, that's why I left here, so if you infer that I prefer a lad to a lass and I'm working class, I'd have to concur. Yeah. Was, it, no, was that the only line that was a problem, or were there other lines that were problems, Lee? There's been all sorts of things that um, we've worked with the school and with Upper North, and but those are the only lines. That's the only lines in question. Now, to me, and it's the only lines that you know that the character's gay, because he openly says he's gay. Yeah. And to me, the issue is there seems to be nothing wrong at all. What, what could possibly be wrong with kids being in a play with a gay character, whatever age they are? Well, and Mike Furbank from uh, East Riding of Yorkshire Council's Head of Improvement and Learning Services said, it was made very clear to you there were certain elements the school found offensive, including references to drug taking, sexual conduct, and the use of homophobic name calling. The language was toned down, but it was still deemed unacceptable for four to eleven year olds to be exposed to. Do you think there is language that is unacceptable? No, 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 no this, is the, own, this is the only to? issue. I think that um, there's lots of mischief because people have, um, have got the wind up because it's now controversial. But the, the literally the only words that we haven't agreed all agreed on. Um, are the ones that you read out. Mm. That's all that's at stake, but it, it seems to be an issue of whether, what is wrong with kids being in a play where there's a gay character? You wouldn't say that about a disabled character, you wouldn't say that about yeah. a bad character. Yeah, well, it seems that the issue is not the gay character, the presence of the gay character, it's, it's the, somehow the acknowledgement of the gay character. Maybe it's a question of yeah. raising these issues with children as young as four. You know, after a certain, I don't know, eight, nine, 10, 11, that's yeah. a different matter. If you've got four so, so or five you're not around, you're, uh, I don't uh, uh, know. A, well, I'm, I'm saying yeah. the argument seems yeah. to be that, uh, that a child of five shouldn't know who is gay and who is not. David Holtney is the uh, most famous man in Bridlington. What, you're going to lock him up in case he bumps into some kids on the street. I mean, it's a preposterous argument. And I, I assert that it's a discriminatory argument. It's, it's, uh, uh, it, it's discriminating against... Uh, uh, gay people, and and that's why I couldn't possibly agree to this. And I'm astounded at at, at how 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 many people are taking this position. And I think Opera North are in a very difficult position. But but in the end of the day, this is is a simple issue about discrimination. It's about silencing gay people and wanting to wipe them out of 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 of, of, of being right. in this in this play. And they're okay. using and they're using the issue of of children and mistaking the issue of sex and sexuality. Now, there's nothing wrong, there's, it's, there's nothing right. wrong with being gay. Well, well, whatever Richard, is it, is, has he got a point there? Uh, of course he's got a point. There's nothing wrong with being gay, and I don't think anybody is trying to 
wipe uh, this issue under the carpet. I, I can't speak for the school because they've got their own, uh, their own position. Um, you know, what I understand from the school is that they believe that they uh, need and will teach, and they have lots of uh, uh, regulation, rules and regulations and guidelines around how they teach sexuality and how they introduce it to children. Their position is that because this particular piece forms part of the core curriculum for these kids, it's not an optional thing, they have to be part of it, it's in the classroom, that the school are taking this position of in loco parentis, that they think they uh, have this responsibility to introduce younger children to this to the gay issue, if that's the right word, the issues of sexuality in the way that they think is right, and they don't think it's right um, in these circumstances. Oh, right. And that's, that's our real dilemma, and it's, it's hateful. Richard Mantle, um, General Director of Up North, thank you, and thank you all also to uh, Lee Hall, playwrights involved. It's four minutes.